This is Amanda. She fell in love with Lumia. She's very funny, she's excitable, she's mature, but she's youthful as well, even though she's 100 years old. While many struggle to get to grips with Amanda's unusual romance, it was difficult because nobody really understood me, no one really got me. Amanda has come to terms with the fact that she has fallen in love with a chandelier. I've never loved the human way of love, Lumia. Not that way, not being totally madly in love. I wanna swing from the chandelier, from the chandelier. Hello! Ah, Lumia. Hi, baby. Are you alright? Miss ya. Physically wise, what attracts me about chandeliers is the way they look, the, the rotational symmetry. They don't have to have crystal prisms on them. They can be without, they can just be a beautiful shape. I have a collection of roughly 50. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful sound. I fell in love with drums first when I was about 14. That lasted for quite a while. There was actually another love between there that I don't talk about that much, but it's the American flag. So I loved the American flag for a couple of years and I still do. I just like how it looks. Then the Statue of Liberty, she came in about 2008 or so. This particular example I've had for 10 years. Although Amanda still has love for the Statue of Liberty, her affections have since moved over to chandeliers. And there is one in particular that has stolen her heart. I've got all these chandeliers around, as you can tell, but there is one in particular that is special to me, and that is this one. That is Lumia. I discovered Lumia on eBay when she was in Germany. And I thought, oh no, I'm not going to be able to get her. You know, she's too expensive for one. And how am I going to get her shipped over here? And then I ended up buying her. I fell in love with her from the moment I saw her. The way she looks, the angles on her attract me. Her bronze, you know, her colour, her attitude, her way, her energy. So I was so happy to get her here. Her energy, she's very funny, she's excitable, she's mature but she's youthful as well even though she's a hundred years old you know she has a very positive vibe she brings out the good in me yeah there's definitely a physical attraction there most definitely i mean the shape of her arms is just so unusual i've never seen that before and i love the amount of detail you know look it was amazing when i touch her like i am now i feel the energy coming down from my arm my warmth from my body into her, she lights up my life. You're nice and clean now, aren't you? Yeah. Although Amanda's friends and family are accepting of her affection for objects, many people don't understand this form of love. I think people find it strange because it's unusual, you know, it's not something that everyone's heard of before. People might not understand the attraction or the energy or because they don't feel energy from objects. I get mixed reactions from people, really. Some people are like, oh, you yeah, know, that's, that's interesting. You know, looking at me. Well, how does that work? People aren't really mean to me on my, to my face, you know, so whatever people might type on the internet, they wouldn't dare say it to my face and just trying to impress their mates or whatever, you know. I have tried dating humans before. I've had two relationships, you would say, with human male but i don't know exactly where my love with objects compares the same with people's love for other people so my sexuality is object and sexuality it's where you fall in love with an object most of the time i would say all the time the reason is from animism an object and sexuality feels energy from an object it's different for me it's very much emotionally based and very energy based physically wise with lumiere i'll kiss her and i'll cuddle her and just stroke her or whatever and that's about the limitations of 
physical contact with her and I'm quite happy with that. You know, I'm, I don't need more than that. I don't know what would happen in the future. I'd like to think that I would be with Chandeliers forever though. I keep the book open. You never know what is going to come round the corner. Who knows if I would ever have a relationship with a human again. I'm not going to rule it out. I know it's difficult for people and I respect that. But I'd rather people come to me with a question than to immediately write me off. What I think is the most important about objects and sexuality is that it's love. You know, it's real, genuine love. I saw loads of chandeliers out there, but none of them were as beautiful as you.